Welcome back my math ASVAB party people. I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. And what we're gonna be doing in this video today is we're gonna be talking about scientific notation. Scientific notation is one of those topics that if you don't know it, it looks confusing, but once you learn it, it's actually very, very, very doable. So allow me to go ahead and show you how to do this problem. That way we can keep acing the ASVAB. And by the way, if you didn't know real quick, you can get all of these videos. I have over a thousand videos, all of the recordings to my classes, the live classes and my support all the way until you pass. If you want to get that to kind of help, there it is right there. Asvab.info slash prep. Let's go ahead and get started here. So we have this big old number right over here. We have 37. And what is that? Million? Billion? Trillion? That is going to be billion. So 37. This would be thousand, million, billion. So there we are. So that is 37 billion. How do we write that in scientific notation? Hmm. How do we do this? So here's how scientific notation works. Scientific notation is basically like saying, hey, we only want one digit in front of the decimal. Then you can have your decimals or whatever, but we just want the decimal place behind the first number. That's it. That is literally it. So if we're taking a look here, we are going to want to put the decimal right there. That's where we're going to want it. If you can't see it, there it is right there. That's where we want that decimal. And so here's how we're going to handle this. Remember this, when it comes to big numbers, we are going to have a positive exponent. Exponent meaning right here. We're going to have a positive exponent if we have a big number. If we have a small number, if we have a decimal, something like 0 0.0000037, the exponent would be negative. Okay? So the exponent's positive if it's a huge number or bigger than 0 or bigger than 1. And the exponent will be negative if it's less than one, if it's a decimal. That's all you gotta know. And so then what we're gonna do is write this. Our answer is gonna be 3.7, and then we're gonna multiply by 10 to a certain power. What's that power gonna be? Literally this. All you're gonna do is count where the decimal currently is. So right over here, we're just gonna count the number of spaces we need to get to this. That's it. That's it. That's seriously it. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more, but mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So watch this, my party people. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, right there. So it's gonna be 3.7 times 10 to the power of 10. That tells you, that 10 right there, tells you how many times you're moving the decimal place over. And because it's positive, it's a big number. And that's why the answer is B. So again, my party people, go ahead and click the link in the description or go to asvab.info slash prep. That way we can get you started. With that said, let's have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now, and then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score, and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.